Welcome back to another episode of uh, Let's Play Roma in Football Manager 2019. I'm Ager, and since last episode, we played quite a few games. Uh, we bounced back after that loss versus PSG in the first leg of, uh, of the Champions League, and uh, managed to beat uh, Bologna big, decent win versus Lazio, decent win versus uh, Salernita. And of course, all these teams are teams we should be beating. They are far down the league table. And then we actually managed to win away in the in the second leg of uh, of the Italian Cup semi final versus Udinese and and uh, this one was a special one because I was back playing just like I did versus PC I was playing my my strikerless formation and Udinese completely dominated the whole game because uh, you know th this always happens uh, to me but the other way around that that I do this. So they were actually creating far more chances for getting far more highlights, but we won. And it's, it's good to be basically basically getting it yourself, because there's so many times I dominate the uh, game and then I get a bad result. Today we are playing Inter in the Serie A. As you can tell, we are down to third place in the league. We've really fallen behind, but we have less uh, played games because of the Champions League, because of the Italian Cup. So we have a chance to catch up, but we need some good results here. Um, we're still in it to win it, we still uh, definitely have the chance uh, to win it. But as you can tell, AC Milan, they are quite a few points ahead of us. 64 points to 57, which means, yes, we have less game played. But if we, like, get a loss, get a draw, and so on, we we won't be catching them. So we are kind of desperate here for, for three points today. And talking about our team... Uh, it's also a pretty tough um, situation because uh, we're going to have basic after this game. We're going to have two days of rest, and then we have the second leg in in the Champions League versus uh, PSG. So it's kind of tough choices. That's for example why I'm not starting Art right now because I'm saving him for for the Champions League game. But yeah, that's some tough decisions. Uh, Santon has picked up an injury. He will be back soon though. We're still missing uh, Fosato, our backup goalkeeper. And, of course, we're still missing Upamecano, but, I um, mean, he's getting closer and closer. About nine days, and he could be back in business, and uh, we have definitely missed him. Because with only three good central defenders, this means that basically every game, I start a game with a defender that's lacking in, in fitness, because I can't rotate properly. At least when the schedule is like it's been uh, lately with, with basically two days rest between uh, every game, and that's not enough when you only have... Uh, three players that rotate for, for the same position. And of course, a special thing with this Inter team is the man up on top. Uh, it's Bonir. We, we got him as a free transfer. We sold him on with a huge profit. I mean, it's pretty easy to make a huge profit if you get somebody for free. But we sold him on, I believe it was after two seasons, with a huge profit. And now he's back to face off against us. And I said it so many times before in this series. You know that whenever we play against uh, one of our former players or players that we have like a special relationship to, they always do well, every single time. I mean, uh, lately, pretty recently, when we played versus AC Milan, of course, we, we saw Kluivert in action, and uh, we saw Divock Ridi in action, and now we are going to see Munir in action, and that worries me, just because of the history with our, with our former players always doing so well against us, it, it really worries me. Uh, we are back playing uh, attacking with three strikers and uh, we are attacking playing with an attacking mentality and uh, we have that home advantage now of course the only question is will it be enough because here is inter with a free kick and they this is a disaster it's a complete and utter disaster it's an own goal by juan jesus and this is a nightmare of a start take a look at the replay here inter with a free kick and yes this is some very, very bad news to us. Clearly not uh, what we were aiming for. Clearly not the start we wanted. And now the clock just ticks away. We still haven't created a single chance. What's going on here? I mean, the uh, interest not creating much themselves. But here they are once again. We're under pressure. Long cross changing flanks. Theo Hernandez going into the box. And oh no! Locatelli! He gives away what could be most likely going to be a penalty. This is a disaster! This is a nightmare! Please don't let that be a foul, but it's going to be... It's probably going to be... It looked like one. Let's see here. What do we say? Yeah, it is a penalty. 
And my gosh, we are in some deep trouble here now. Donnarumma, we trust you. We need something special here. And that's not something special, not what we needed. This is, I'm not sure what to say even. We are getting uh, shocked here. Uh, shocked is, is the right, uh, I would say, because we didn't expect this at all. Not at home, not at our fortress. Not where we should be at our best. Still, the look at the chances. Basically, nothing have happened. They have had three shots and managed to score two goals. And I mean, one of the goals was for an own goal, so it made it even easier because they only had had one shot on target. Imagine having one shot on target and scoring two goals. That's just why did you do that, Shule? You were completely alone. No player putting pressure on you at all. You could just have brought it down. Here's Barbosa. Barbosa going for Schick, but that's a weak pass. And now it's all the way back to the inter goalkeeper. Maybe we can keep on putting pressure on them. Barbosa once again going for Schick. Schick for Florenzi. Florenzi into the box. Goes all the way through to Alberto Moreno. Schick and there is Nicolas. And this one we need it desperately. Oh, this is such an important goal. Makes us believe because, I mean, when you're two goals behind... It's really, really desperate times, but just scoring that goal could make the players the pe starting to believe, feeling like we could do that, getting the morale up, knowing that this is possible. Here is Moreno for Garrison for Locatelli. Quizos, Quizos with the optimistic pass of Barbosa, but he runs straight through! And he didn't even manage to finish it! What the heck? He runs straight through and then nothing, not even a shot. Florenzi with a throw in for Schick. And it's back in into Milan possession. Focus, lads, focus. Win this one back. That's a direct order. No mistakes. Win it back. Put some pressure on them. Turn it around. We need it desperately. Come on, lads. I trust you. I believe in you. Beautiful by Florenzi. It's Schick. Schick with a long cross for Barbosa. Barbosa all by himself. Pass it. God damn it. Why didn't you pass? A pass here and it would have been a goal for sure. Nicolas would have had an open net. And instead, you cleared it like you were like a defender kicking away desperately. Look at statistics. This haven't been many chances and it's really, really close. But we currently won down. Clearly, we need to tell them, where's your passion, lads? Do you want to win the match? And that was a question. Do you want to change anything with the tactics? I don't think we do, considering that. I mean, we could try go uh, gig and press. And the positive mentality. But let's try that for a while. But we, we were basically creating more chances than them so we, we shouldn't go desperate yet uh, here it is uh, Moreno with the throw in Locatelli back to Moreno Locatelli Locatelli Cristante Locatelli Moreno Cristante we're not getting anywhere guys focus Locatelli good 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 now guys I don't like this we're not coming anywhere at all and we are under some pressure Sheila Sheila a long, long cross, and it's Barbosa once again, once again. And no, we was thinking that maybe third time is a charm, but he has been garbage here today. Not at all, and Schick has picked up a potential injury. Schick, and... But wait, 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 why was that even a highlight? Maybe it wasn't a highlight. Maybe the real highlight is going to come here. Focus, lads, focus, focus, focus. All the way to Donnarumma. Easy, easy now. Look over here, you can throw it out. Vesos, look at Telly. Long cross. Barbosa. Nicolas, Nicolas, Nicolas! We're creating so many chances. We really should be able to do something here. I think I'm going to take no risk with Schick. Let's uh, sub him off. And um, we're going to go with Morilla because the other three guys will most likely start the Champions League game. We need them fresh. We really do. Time is ticking away. We have really like they haven't had a single okay one one chance during the whole second half, but still we are behind. We created so many great chances. We are. It's time to go attacking, and uh, let's go. Actually, let's go to the tactic screen. Let's bring you a little bit higher up into the pitch. And now, who else? I mean, Cristante has been garbage. I can't understand how uh, our post is actually getting a 6.6 .6 with all the chances he's missed. Um, but let's just try it like this for now. Wait for the sub a few minutes. Show some passion, lads. 
Look, just takes away now. It's not where you want to be. Right, we have two subs left. Ah, uh, Cristanta, you're out. And also, Barbosa, it's time to bring on Arp here. Ten minutes, it's time for very attacking. And uh, do you want to do anything else? Yeah, more direct passes. Look, you sticks away. They haven't had a single highlight in the second Oh, well, of course, as I say that, they get a highlight. We haven't had like 10 highlights in the second half. They haven't had a single one. And now this happens. Focus, lad. Theo Hernandez is clear. Turn it around. What? You're just jogging. You could have definitely beaten him to that ball. Come on, lads. Passion. Passion, passion. Where's the passion? Beautiful by Christos, and here is Arp. Did you the sub Arp? It's Arp, it's Arp, and Arp, and no, and yes, and yes, and yes, and yes, no, no, it's an offside. No, why, why, why? This is devastating, but at least Arp did. What Barbosa haven't been able to do the whole game, getting a good chance and actually passing to somebody in an even better position. If just Barbosa would have done that one, doing like all his three, four times he had a chance, we definitely would have scored. And now it's Inter instead intervened by Figueroa all the way back to Donnarumma. Donnarumma, come on guys, we already take extra time, it's two minutes left, focus. No! Oh. Donnarumma, goal kick, one, and th one minute 30 seconds left. Florenzi, Florenzi with a long cross, it's Morilla looking into the box, a lot of plays into the box, and here's Nicolas, and no! This time, he definitely wasn't offside, but instead, we see Inter Milan cleared all the way, nothing, nothing at all, and this looks like we are heading into a really devastating loss here. I'm lacking words for this loss. We created, like, how many chances alone with their, their goalkeeper did we miss? Four? Five? Five, I think. Five if we, if we count the one where Marilla hit the post and then uh, it was a disallowed goal. So we uh, missed, I think, five times alone with their goalkeeper and we lost because of it. This is really, really bad. I'm going to tell them that. That wasn't good enough, I'm afraid. There's no, no excuse for not winning this sort of a match. And it's all on the attackers. They, like, we had the chances to score like three, four goals more than we did. And we didn't take a, advantage of them. That's just not good enough. And now, of course, we find ourselves in a desperate situation in the league. Take a look at this league table. We are so far behind against AC Milan, but even behind of Juve, this is really desperate times, and yeah, we, we need to start asking for a miracle here. The good thing is, kind of with our position, is look at the teams we have left to play. Other than uh, AC Milan on top, also the Nays doing pretty well. Most of the teams we have left to play are teams from, from the lower parts of the table, which means there are a lot of teams. Yeah, we have, we have Udinese, Napoli, I believe, and maybe East Milan. But we have a lot of teams in this part of the table left to play, which means we should be taking a lot of points. And of course, we could find ourselves in a same league final versus uh, AC Milan in the last league game of the season. But I clearly prefer it the way we did last season when we won the league with a huge margin and, and the last game uh, didn't count. But now we need to, find to fight to even make this game count. Uh, but that's it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. And I'll see you in the next episode. And the next episode is a huge one. It's where the Champions League dream will be decided. Will we continue our Champions League journey? Or is it more or less game over? But that's the next episode. So yeah, I'll see you there.